Unboxing. Um, what should I use to unbox this one? I didn't even think about that ahead of time. We'll just go with the Kubi KB237. Uh, this cam comes from... Uh, I'm going to pronounce their name wrong, so let me wait until I get it out of the box here. It is a chef knife from Shanzu. Okay? I have done a chef knife from them before. And they reached out to me and asked me if I would like to do another video. And I said, absolutely, because I did actually really like that chef knife. So let me see if I can get this open without destroying the packaging. Um, I did like that chef knife. And this is another, you know, chef knife, of course. Get the packaging... Uh, Classic stuff out of the way. This is just a different style of knife that they sent. They've been really cool to deal with um, so far. They did ask me to join their affiliate program. And like I have mentioned before on other videos, gosh darn it, sometimes these types of sleeve things are not my favorite. I don't want to rip them off. So, yeah, let me see if I can go the other way. Um, I told them, thank you for offering your... Um, yeah, it comes off much easier the other way. Thank you for offering your affiliate program, but I don't do affiliate programs. I don't want to do affiliate programs. That's fine for all of you other channels that are doing that. Sure, great, whatever. I got a job. I don't want to reach out to you guys, all of my viewers, and be like, Oh, please go click this link. Go, go make me money. No, I don't want to deal with any of that. I have two affiliate programs. One is Amazon, which is pretty kind of common. And in three years that I've had Amazon affiliate, I think I've made a whole whopping $12 over people buying stuff. Um, and then Skull Shaver, the electric shaver that I shave my head with. I bought one. I bought extra blades. I kind of went through that and they reached out and I do have an affiliate program with them, but that's it. I'm not doing affiliate programs. I'm not going to be the guy that's always asking you. So this is the other chef knife. This is um, 67 layer Damascus. I'll get some more details. I'll do another video on it. This is just a different shape, really. It is sharp. Is it sharpened? Nope. It is not sharpened here at this edge. So you have just a cutting edge down here. Um, I don't know. Pretty cool. These aren't super expensive. Uh, I'll have to look this one up. I'm guessing it's in that 50-ish dollar range, if not a little less. They do come from overseas. Eh, you know, you guys know my thoughts on that already. But yeah, this is kind of cool. So I'll do a video on this one in a little bit. I will link to my previous chef video from chef knife video from these folks up in the corner or whatnot or down below. So go check it out. Let me know what you think. I still need to get all of the chef knives that I've talked about here over to my son, who is a professional chef. The Mattia Baroni one, I know that he actually uses at his house because I bought him one of those. So he uses that at his house. So I know that he likes that one. The other Shanzu um, one, I have not given him. And obviously this one I didn't give him because it just came in. So let me know your thoughts, guys. I I'm interested to hear if you even want to talk about chef knives um, because I'm glad to talk about them. But if it doesn't go in a microwave, <laughs> I'm not really cooking it. So I don't use these very often, full disclosure. Thanks a lot, guys. Super reflective blade. I can see everything. Wow. Um, there you go. I'll stop rambling. Have a great day.